could you be the one? Shh. Go, go. Um, today is another part of the entrepreneur series that I am doing. This is part two. So if you didn't watch part one, I'm leaving the link in the description box for you to go click that and go watch part one. And yeah, that's that on that. This is part two of the Entrepreneur Life series. Um, in the first series, in the first episode, you guys were watching me prepare to ship orders and um, labeling my containers. You guys seen that whole shebang. So today, was the actual day we got to the launch and guys like my goal for launch day was to make 1k which was $1,000 in sales unfortunately I did not meet that goal but I got something close to it and I'm going to show you guys what I made on launch day um the reason I didn't make the exact 1k was because you know when you first launch a business you want to got you want to give your customers some sell you know some promo codes and discount codes to use so being that i did allow my customers to use discounts codes for the first launch um i actually lost some money which i was fine with because it gives my customers something to want to come back for so i also i'm also going to show you guys what i actually would have made without the discount codes um and how much i actually lost with using the discount code like i said i'm not mad about that whatsoever because it's giving my customers something to come back for you feel me that's that. Um, today you guys are going to pretty much just be watching me pack out these orders. I have a total of 16 orders. Um, I sold out of two collections. I sold out of the full collection and I sold out of the, the glitter collection. And I'm pretty much almost sold out of the monomer. I think I only have three monomers left in stock. That's what's up. So, um, without further ado, like I said, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And yeah, let's get to it. So, pretty much the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to match up these um, packing slips with the actual shipping labels. So, everything is pretty much organized. So, when I go to go pack everything in the boxes, everything is organized, like I said, and I don't have to be rummaging through everything. So... Okay guys, so I am done um, pretty much just putting the packing slips with the actual labels and now I'm going to proceed to start putting everything together at this point. Okay, so this person ordered some nail charms and I'm going to show you how I pack these up. They ordered two, pretty much two of each. So these are the ones she ordered. I'm just gonna show you real quick. She ordered two of these, two of these, two of these, and two of these. And like I said, these are 3D nail charms that you put on the nails and she also ordered some um, eight ounce monomer. I'm gonna drop all of the charms in the bag. So when I pack it up and the mailers is not going all over the place. So I stick it in here. And then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember these that I showed you earlier. I'm gonna just pretty much take one of these stickers, take one of these stickers, hold up. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of these stickers and I'm gonna just pretty much just place it on here, stick it on here, and boom. That's it. Okay guys, so this is pretty much everything packed up. I just took everything out and put everything that was supposed to go with each order um, with the packing slips and the shipping labels. And then now I'm about to start putting them in the boxes and in the poly mailers.
Okay, so I finished packing all the smaller orders and the orders that didn't contain a monomer. Now, um, for all the bigger orders and the orders that do contain a monomer, I'm just going to be building these boxes right here. And I'm going to be just packing them up. guys so this is the complete view of everything these are all 16 orders that i packaged and put together um and that's pretty much it so guys that's pretty much it that's pretty much how I'm, i am going to be packaging my orders for the future orders until i get a new method of doing things um like i said my website launched march march 1st so this is the process of getting everything done i made um over 800 dollars in sales which i am very happy about even though my goal was one thousand dollars i was very i was still very close to my goal for me just being a new launching business that's still amazing um if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment box please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel guys i'm a growing youtuber and i would love the the support and everything else. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys.